South Paul, you look a mess. Thank you. Period. Ryan Garcia had the fans in NYC going crazy for him. I had no idea that Ryan Garcia was disliked on the East Coast, but it makes sense. Ryan is a very real, authentic individual. Ryan does not use religion to get a bigger fan base, and Ryan don't got a cap about every single thing in his life, like Devin Haney. Speaking of Devin Haney, everybody listen to what the crowd was chatting right before Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia walked into the arena. Check this out. The chant is like music to my ears, I'm telling you. I could listen to that chant every day, once a day, for the rest of my life, and I would live a happy life. Matter of fact, let me play that again. That chant is music to my ears, I'm telling you. But as far as the press conference, as everybody pretty much expected, Bill Haney took the spotlight. Bill Haney took center stage because as we all know, Bill Haney can't let his son speak for himself because his son ain't got no character. Check this out. What did Floyd tell you? And did he tell you something to beat Devin? Or, I mean, come out the closet with it, Ryan. Y'all working together. They all in and they going against Devin and he's against all of them. Floyd, Bill, Bill, Ryan. Bill. The Oakland, California clown Bill Haney was more worried about what Floyd Mayweather told Ryan Garcia as opposed to trying to promote his damn son. As we all know, Bill Haney know that his son got no character. So he was worried about Floyd Mayweather showing Ryan Garcia the video of Javante Davis knocking the man clean out. But do y'all remember that jog that Floyd Mayweather and Ryan Garcia went on? Ryan Garcia basically exposed that Floyd Mayweather told him, yo, do not fight Devin Haney. Devin Haney is not a draw. I'm not gonna go into what he said, but basically he was like, that's not the move. Well, basically they're trying to say he's not a draw. Like, you know, he ain't shit. Respect to Ryan Garcia for keeping it real. Floyd Mayweather basically told the man, Devin Haney ain't shit. Do not fight Devin Haney because it's not gonna do big numbers. He's not a pay-per-view attraction. I got a question for y'all. Type it up in the comment section. Which fight do you think would have did bigger numbers? Devin vs. Ryan or Ryan vs. Roley. In my personal opinion, I think that Ryan vs. Roley would have did way bigger numbers. At least Roley Romero knows how to speak for himself. At least Roley Romero's father does not think he is the star. Southpaw's a, Southpaw's a, Southpaw's a piece of shit person. You see, Devin Haney is so boring as a person and as a fighter that Bill Haney had to make some type of corny ass bet. Talking about, yo, if Devin Haney knocks you out in the first round, you gotta retire from the sport of boxing. This news made ESPN ringside. As y'all can see, Ryan Garcia said, I will give you my word that I will retire if Devin Haney knocks him out in the first round. Now we all know that Devin ain't knocking shit out in the first round. When is the last time Devin Haney even had a knockout? I will tell you, against Antonio Moran five years ago reporting but you need to concentrate Devin Haney cannot punch Devin Haney is not a draw and what the hell was Devin Haney doing in the pool with P Diddy <laughs> everybody read this caption Devin Haney said quote they say you gotta be in to make it to Diddy's swimming pool in what Devin what the hell is Devin Haney talking about right here talking about you gotta be in to make it to Diddy's swimming pool. In what, bro? If some of y'all know what Devin Haney is talking about when he talking about you gotta be in. Inside of what? Let me know in the comment section. Maybe some of y'all from Oakland, California or Henderson, Nevada could let me know what Devin is talking about. In what? Y'all some hoes. Y'all some hoes. And just when you thought that Gervonta Davis would not be mentioned today, a Devin Haney fanboy by the name of All Levels Boxing tweeted out, From 2015 until now, and you still don't want to fight someone as good as Devin, Shakur, or Loma, Gervonta Davis responded back with, Tell your boy to fight on the same day as me, and we can see who's really the top dog, and shut the hell up. Stay off him, 
We'll see. I think that is a great challenge from Javante Tank Davis. Since Mr. All Levels Boxing want to say, yo, you still ain't fought nobody like Devin or Shakur or Loma. I bet y'all, if Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, and Vasily Lomachenko all fought on the same day as Javante Davis, who do you think would outsell? Devin Shakur, Lomachenko, or Javante? His son ain't really like that. His son ain't really like that. You already know the answer to that. Javante Davis would outsell all three on the same night, even Canelo Alvarez. I bet y'all that if Canelo Alvarez and Javante Davis fought on the same day, Javante Tank Davis, the true face of boxing, would outsell Canelo Alvarez. I got a question for y'all Canelo Alvarez fans. Who did the highest pay-per-view last year? Was it Canelo Alvarez or Javante Davis? You already know the answer to that. That's fucked up, that's fucked up, motherfucker, man. Like I said, even though that Ryan Garcia is a very big star, this fight will not do over a million buys. This fight will not compare to the Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis fight because Devin Haney just can't sell. Devin Haney is not a draw. Devin Haney can't speak. Devin ain't got no character, and hopefully, through the grace of God, Ryan Garcia can knock this pillow fist out. I look forward to the press conference in Los Angeles tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Devin Haney is a West Coast clown. Look, he's accomplished nothing. Please, don't disrespect myself. Please, guys.